Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this glam makeup look. I started off by brushing my really knotty hair as I'd only just gotten out of bed. And because the ends of my hair did feel a little dry, I applied some of my Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray to the ends and the roots of my hair and worked that in. I like to use my Botanics Micellar Cleansing Water just to help get rid of any excess makeup that I've missed off my face. I then moisturise my face with the Simple Day Cream with SPF 15. It's quite a thick moisturiser so I do leave a couple of minutes before I start applying makeup. For foundation today I use the number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation in shade Calico. I like this foundation because it's got good coverage and it stays matte for a long time without having to repowder throughout the day. Moving on to concealer, of course I went with my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C1. I do have to blend this concealer in quite quickly after application as it does dry up quickly on my skin. The Rimmel Match Perfection Powder is perfect for a glam look as it keeps your skin matte for a long time without having to repowder regularly. I focus the powder on my T-zone as that's where I get oily most. I've been absolutely loving the Revolution Mega Bronzer that I got the other day, so I'm going to be using it in my look today to create a nice sheer glow. I used a dabbing motion so the colour didn't come out too intense. You all know by now that I love, love, love this Kiko bronzer from the Magical Holiday Collection in Perfect Rose. It gives you such a pretty glow without giving you bright pink cheeks. say I'm the biggest fan of my brows so all I do to them is brush them up with my Morphe brush and then fill them in with my Kiko brow pencil in shade 4. Now my base and my brows are done, I move on to my eyes. So I am just applying some Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyes, ready for my eyeshadow. Remember to apply the primer right up to the brow and anywhere you want to apply your eyeshadow. Now for the star of the show, eyeshadow. So firstly, I'm going into the Morphe 15N palette and I'm going in with shade Hello. With a blending brush, I'm applying this in my crease and taking this right up to my brow. I do also like to keep handy a clean blending brush, just in case any of the eyeshadow comes out too harsh on my eye, I can easily blend that out. Now to start shaping the eyeshadow. So with very gentle sweeping motions, bring the product out towards your temple. 
try to use the product that's already on your brush rather than keep adding from the palette. Once the eyeshadow is applied to your skin, it's really hard to blend it away, so little is better. I then like to go in with a smaller brush to intensify the colour. I then use that same brush to apply the same eyeshadow colour underneath my eye and then use a blending brush to blend that out. I then use the smaller eyeshadow brush along with the colour Pebble from the 35B Morphe palette to apply more depth to the crease. Then just go in with your blending brushes to perfect the eyeshadow and make sure both eyes look as even as possible. Right, so I'm going to show you the technique that I use to create the perfect cut crease every time for your eye shape. So all you need to do is get some concealer and a flat exact brush, apply a small amount to your eyelid and then look up and this will print a line on your upper eyelid and then you can use this as a guidance. Once you have an outline for the cut crease then fill this area in. This is the perfect technique if you have hooded eyes like myself. To add the glam to this eyeshadow look I applied the Kiko Chrome Eyeshadow in shade 3 Red Planet. This makes any eyeshadow look glam and it is beautiful. I didn't need to use that much product at all because it is so pigmented and I just use my finger to apply the product all over the damp concealer. I then brushed away any fallout with a large fluffy brush. This isn't a vital step but I went in with my smaller eyeshadow brush and the shade Pebble, which is the black shade, to intensify the colour just above the cut crease. And of course, don't forget to highlight your inner corner and your brow bone. There's three steps for creating the perfect winged liner. So firstly, create a line that connects your lower waterline. Then line your eyelid and then connect the two lines. It is hard, but practice makes perfect. Only I could lose a bright rainbow mascara. So all I did here was curve my lashes and evenly applied the mascara all over my lashes and my lower lashes. Nine times out of ten, I will get mascara on my face, so the best thing to do is just leave it to dry and pick it off later. I then went in with a gold highlighter to highlight my cheekbones, my nose and my forehead. This look definitely called for my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots highlighter. So I just applied this over the top of my gold highlighter on my cheeks. For this look to be glam, I had to have lashes. And as you know, I am not the best with lashes. So I just applied them and hoped for the best.
and they actually turned out okay. I was really proud of myself. Because I wanted the focus of this look to be the eyes, I went for a nude lip. So I chose the Revolution Pro Matte Lip Pigment in shade Veil. And to make sure my makeup does not budge all night, I am setting my face using the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Setting Spray. And yes, I did fan my face with a palette. I'm really pleased with how this glam makeup look turned out. If you liked this look, please let me know by leaving a like on this video and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,